applying transit, free transit, only to those people with a low income cutoff has stigma to it. The stigma of using transit uh, exists in Kitchener-Waterloo. People don't want to use transit because transit users are looked down upon, but that's not true everywhere. And somebody mentioned that in Ottawa, you see uh, generals and admirals taking, taking transit there as well. One of the ideas is to get people out of cars, and uh, because transit is less convenient uh, than cars, people will have to accept, have to accept some level of inconvenience. Transit frequency, uh, having the buses uh, come by every 10 or 15 minutes, definitely increases the adoption of using transit. The uh, automated fare system is costing millions of dollars, and uh, how much does it cost to administer ticket sales? How much are all the ticket sellers uh, uh, costing the region? Free transit be available for everyone, not just those of, of low income. And there have been successful projects of that in France and Brazil. Uh, free transit for everyone improves the, uh, the businesses in downtowns. And fair, uh, fair box cost recovery can't be done anyway. So it always has to be subsidies. Uh, may as well have all transit free. If transit were free for all, there would be far less overhead and uh, there would be uh, a lower cost for uh, administration of, of transit. One of the benefits of having universal transit is that you um, get free newspapers. Lots of people leave their newspapers behind. And um, although the newspapers exist in uh, the uh, GRT buses, Apparently you have to pay for those in the fare box, so maybe the uh, newspapers aren't quite as free as we thought. Finally, somebody made the comment that mobility is a human right. 